Hey y'all, welcome to my desk. Um, I got a few things I want to share with you before I settle in for the night. Um, I got friend mail, um, cards, I got my Walmart beauty box, and a few things I ordered offline. And I thought I'd jump on here and share it with y'all before I go to bed. What's tomorrow, Wednesday? Tomorrow's the middle of the week. We're getting there one day closer to the weekend. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to show you, I ordered this off of Walmart. This was an impulse buy because, um, not that I was ever, ever in my life, never in my life, maybe when I was a kid playing outside constantly, I would get tan. Um, but I'm fair skinned. I burn. I've dealt with those cancer spots. We've had to have those removed. We're going to have another one frozen off. Um, so I can't, you know, just be a sun goddess like I want. <sighs> I got no I got no pigment, right? So I gotta stay covered up, especially in my old age. So because of that, um, I stumbled across this and um, it's sunless tanning for your face and body. It's real light, it's by Jergens. it's called Soul. So what it is in that packaging pretty. So what it is, it's, um, you mix it with your regular lotion. So I have, um, everybody's got body lotion. I actually have Jergens in there. The Cherry Almond Jergens, which is the best lotion in all the land of all time. I buy all different kinds, but at the end of the day, that's my favorite. But anyway, you can use any kind of lotion, and then you just add these drops to your lotion. Um, and rub it on your arms, legs, face, and it just gives you a little bit of color. Um, and it says on the box, um, mix drops with daily moisturizer for natural looking color. More drops equals deeper color. Wash hands after application. So instead of buying the tanning lotion, you just add these drops to your tanning lotion. It's Jergens, so you know it's going to be gentle. Um, so three to six drops equals a subtle sun-kissed color. That's what I'll go for. Um, seven to 10 drops gives a medium golden color. And then 11 to 15 drops equals a deep bronze color. So I'll stay in the three to six drop range because um, I'll look orange and streaky. I just want a tiny bit of color. So I'll do this on my legs and my face and my neck, you know just wherever I do my daily moisturizer and um, we'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know. Isn't that bottle gorgeous? It's just gorgeous. I love it. So I um, saw that I ordered off walmart.com. Um, the next thing I got was um, I got a curling iron. I have a, I've got a one inch curling iron and a two inch curling iron. I've got a flat iron that I've had for a hundred years, but I wanted a three quarter inch curling iron. So I've been watching hair tutorials on YouTube for short hair and how to curl. And I know how to curl my hair, but I was just kind of looking for ideas. You know how you watch tutorials and all these girls are using a three quarter inch barrel. And so I just got on Amazon. I ordered a cheap one because I'm the kind of girl that's is a curling iron, a curling iron, a curling iron, a flat iron, a flat iron, a flat iron. I know that that's not true, but for me, I'm not trying to go spend a hundred dollars on a curling iron when I can get this brand or a Conair for twenty bucks. This one I think was this curling iron. I think was it was less than fifteen dollars. Let's talk about how pretty it is. Look at that deep blue color. Isn't that gorgeous? It comes with a glove, but I'm Gen X, right? And so we don't need gloves. I'm sorry. Now, if you're going to use a curling wand that doesn't have a clip, you go ahead and use your glove if you need to. I'm not knocking anybody who uses a glove. I'm just saying, me and my generation, we don't need that. We don't need that. Don't need helmets when we ride a bike either. We don't need all that. Anywho, so I'm going to give this a whirl next time I curl my hair. And just, you just leave it in for a minute, not even a minute, just bring it down and ooh, it's got a tight grip to it. And you can grab your hair and just kind of curl it, curl it around. But once again, I'm old school and I'm trying to use the clip and no glove. I don't have time to be 
pressing around with a glove and have the perfect curls. I just want to put a little bit in my hair and get on with my day. That's all I need. Okay. So those are the fun things I ordered. Okay. Oh, I do have one thing. Hold on. When should I show it? We'll do that last because um, I want to kind of go through it with you because I haven't even got to get into it yet. So we can get into that together. Um, let's jump into some friend mail. So um, I did, I do want to acknowledge this um, from a dear sweet, uh, sweet subscriber, Terry. Um, I'm not reading it. She asked me not to read it, so I'm not going to, but she did send me a beautiful card, a note of thanks. And I did read it, and it's precious, and thank you, Terry. She said on the back, please don't read on air. Not everybody wants their stuff read. If you guys don't, if, if anybody ever sends me anything and you don't, just leave me a sweet little note like that, and I will respect it, and I won't read it on air. Otherwise, I will. Um, so, um, I appreciate this. Thank you um, for sharing your heart with me, and thank you for sending this to me. Um, I got a message that's like, Amy, go check your P.O. box. So, um, thank you. Thank you so much, Terry. Um, prayers going up. Okay. All right. Um, so, um, one of you guys said, um, check your, check your P.O. box. So I got a P.O. box when mom passed away and I haven't gotten anything in it yet until recently. And so I got it back in no December maybe back in December. Um, and I've got mail. Thank you guys. So, um, Aunt Debbie, we all know Aunt Debbie. She's the one that makes me the fun earrings and sends me cards. And, um, so I got a sweet card from Aunt Debbie. <laughs> Their little clover on the back. Can you see that? I'm not going to turn it around and, um, well, I guess I can cause that's my PO box, my PO box there. But I'm not going to show you Aunt Debbie's address. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let me get some scissors here. Once again, I know Aunt Debbie. I've never met her in person, but I know her through my sweet, dear friend, Charity Creekmore, who has um, Creek Ranch. You're hilarious. If you stare for a long time, eventually see you'll, you'll see the... Hold on, i got to sneeze. <coughs> All right. I'm going to show you the card. <laughs> if you stare for a long time, eventually you'll see the leprechaun hiding in this picture. <laughs> Shane will get a kick out of that. I'm going to put that right on the refrigerator so he'll see it. He'll be like, baby, what is that? Um, if you stare for a long time, eventually you'll see the leprechaun hiding in this picture. Okay, so there's no lepre leprechaun, but wasn't it fun? <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. Love you, girl, Aunt Debbie. <laughs> That's hilarious. That was fun. I got I to gotta show that to Charity. That's hilarious. Thank you for that. It made me laugh. <laughs> Okay, this is a friend mail. Isn't that pretty? Packaging. Bala. Out of California. This came from California. I think she's the one that said, check your P.O. box. So, I'm going to very carefully open this. God, that packaging is stunning. Love that envelope. How do I get out of this? Here we go. Okay, envelope. I'm going to open it this, I, don't, I think I can probably cut it. I don't want to, I'm always scared I'm going to cut something in the package. You know what I mean? Okay, we're safe. We're safe if I go ahead and keep cutting right here. I've, I've cut stuff in packages before. What is this? card oh, 
<gasps> a new subscriber. Hi, Amy. I'm a relatively new subscriber, and I really enjoy your videos. Here's a small Timu haul for you, Tanya. Is it Tanya or Tanya? Aw, love the little flower <laughs> in the heart. Oh my god. Okay, so it's a box with a butterfly. Are these those little butterflies? She got me something from Timu. <gasps> Shut it. We got a little pocket full of jewelry. Girl. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to have this. I'm having this. I'm going to keep that little precious little envelope. Look at that little butterfly. Did that come off, Timu? What is a little holographic? Not holographic, but um, it's got glitter on it. Uh, 3D butterflies is what I'm trying to say. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Look at these little packages. They Did they come like this or did you package them? Because look at these little packages. Oh my god, these are gorgeous. Oh my god. She sent me a whole bunch of earrings. Oh my God. <laughs> you did not send me these. Listen, I was looking at these the other day. <laughs> Aren't those gorgeous? Look at those. Oh my gosh. Love them. Love, love, love. Love the colors. Look at that. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, there's more. Just hold, please. Hold on. God, I love these little, these are real thick. Oh my gosh. Yes. 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 Oh, I love jewelry. I just love it. These are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. This is so awesome because I've looked at these too. Oh, yes. Aren't those so pretty? Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Thank you. Uh, isn't Timu so much fun? Timu and Sheen. I like Sheen over Timu, but I'm not totally against Timu because I got things in my Timu basket. I got things in a Sheen basket to order, and I got things in a Timu basket. I just haven't pushed the button yet because I'm not done loading my basket. Oh, these are gorgeous, and they have pearls on them, and I love pearls. Love pearls. Look at these. Those are so cute. Yes, please. Look at those. So these are so classy. I've got big earrings on right now, but look at that. Oh my gosh. That's so much fun. Y'all, my jewelry collection has doubled in size, my earrings, since I've started YouTube. <laughs> Oh, these are just gorgeous. Oh, look at those. Aren't those pretty? And they'll just go with everything. They'll go with, these are the kind of earrings that go with everything. You see them? I'm, not, I'm just going to show you one. It's easier. Gorgeous. Oh, I love those. Oh my God. Girl, you did good. You did so good. You're new to my channel. It's like you can read my mind. Oh, stunning. Look at these blue ones. Stunning. Look at those. Oh, look at that blue. Did you know my favorite color is blue? Did you know that? I don't know. I know. I've mentioned it here and there. I don't know. Gorgeous. Ooh, those look rich, don't they? Oh, they look so rich. They're almost kind of art deco. Oh, and look at the detail on the sides. Can you see? I'll get my big thumb out of the way. Do you see the detail on the sides? Look at there. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, shoot, I like those. Oh my God. These are stunning. They look a lot richer than they are, don't they? Go Timu. Uh, this shirt I'm wearing is from Timu, actually. It's from Timu. Oh, and these are stunning, too. 
gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the big hook. See them? Love. I'm going to say Tanya. I don't know if it's Tanya or Tanya. But thank you. Thank you so much. These are gorgeous. Aunt Debbie. Terry, you guys, thank you for thinking of me. Thank you for watching my channel and hanging out with me. I'm going to have way too much fun with all these pretties. I'm going to have way too much fun with these. Thank you so, so much. How fun. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling. Thank you. Love it. Love it. Okay. Um, there's that. Let's open up the Walmart beauty box real quick. This won't take long. Um, you guys know I just got the winter box. And this is the... They sent me the winter box late because I subscribed late. Um, I did a Walmart beauty box for years. And we've opened a lot of Walmart beauty boxes. And then I started getting the same things over and over again. So I canceled for like a year or two. I've, I've been canceled for a year or two. I don't know. A while. And um, so... I resubscribed, and it's it used to be five dollars every three months, and now it's like seven dollars, but it's only every three months, so not hard, not hard on the budget, which is what I love. Okay, so this is the spring box, the Walmart Beauty spring box. Um, Marcia, this might be something that you might like. Um, okay, so Sarah V, it's a little, um product flyer with different products okay so the first thing I'm gonna pull out look at this you guys look what they sent look at this incredible headband shut it they usually just send little products they've never sent me anything like this before look at that excuse me we're gonna have that That's gonna be cute this winter. You can wear you can wear little headbands even with short hair. It looks so cute. Um, I wear mine. I don't ever wear headbands out in public because I don't want to wear them all day because of my glasses. If I didn't wear glasses, I would wear headbands a lot. Um, but my glasses are not comfortable with the headband sitting on my glasses, um, so I can only wear this for a short amount of time. Um, but I do own several headbands. I love them around the house to get my hair out of my face. You guys have seen me wear them here and there. Um, and just to run to the store real quick to get your hair out of your face or washing your face or whatever. Um, this is adorable. Love it. It's like a sweater material with a knot. Go Walmart! <laughs> Go Walmart! Okay, and then I got a Hemp's Triple Moisture Herbal Whipped Body Cream. If you guys have never used Hemp's, I know there's a big pot leaf on it, but it smells incredible, and it's very moisturizing. Ugh. I've bought the big bottles of Hemp's. Um, a friend of mine introduced it to me. Let's see, Wyatt is 23 years old now. She introduced it to me when Wyatt was a baby, so... 23 years ago, she introduced me to this brand, and I've always really enjoyed it. Um, it doesn't moisturize as well as Jergens, but it's a close second, and they have all different smells. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at Ulta. It does not smell like weed. Promise. Mm. Oh, that smells incredible. Yes, Walmart is winning, and this is $7 right here, and we're not even just part way through. Love it. Go Walmart. Um, Y'all know I love me some Walmart. And then I got a Neutrogena Hydrating Cleansing Gel. So that'll be fun to play with. Look at my cuticles, you guys. Since I've been digging in the dirt and I haven't been taking care of my nails, my nails are just oof. But that's what happens. That's why I took my um, shellac or my, uh, what's that, the dip? That's why I took the dip off. Because I knew that this spring and summer, my hands... We're not trying to be pretty. We're playing in the dirt. We're mowing. We're working around the house. In the spring and summer, I just don't even worry about it. And when fall rolls back around, um, I'll make my hands and my nails all pretty again because we'll be done mowing and playing in the garden and in the dirt and all that. So they're just kind of short and 
my cuticles are real rough and red right now. It's fine. It's fine. That's what I get for playing outside. Um, anyhow, and my flowers on the porch are thriving. I'll have to show you guys. And my moon, my moonflower plants are coming back like crazy. My clematis has blown up and it is, she is showing off with these big white clematis flowers. I call them paper flowers because they look like big paper flower, flowers made of paper, but they're clematis and they're just, climb oh my God, they're so pretty. Um, okay, moving on. This smells so good. This smells so good. I'm going to get a big daddy bottle of this. I think I'm going to put my, um, my tanning drops in here because it just said add with any moisturizer and I'm going to rub that all over my legs. Get some color on my legs. Okay. All right. Um, Neutrogena, Neutrogena Hydrating Cleansing Gel. We're going to give that a, a whirl. Um, this is, it's Sunny Honey Juicy Couture Rock the Rainbow um, Perfume Sample. Okay. Okay, Walmart. Soak in the sweet, radiant scent with notes of Italian lemon. You sold me on lemon. I don't care what else is in it. I love citrus. Um, hold on. I got to pull it out here because Mama can't see. Um, Italian lemon, jasmine blossom, and the warm, relaxing feel of golden amber. And let your worries melt. Okay. All I can smell is the lotion. Let me spray it up here. Let's see what we get. Oh, hello. Oh, yum. Okay. Okay. I may have found a summer scent. Have y'all ever smelled this? I'm going to have that. Okay, when you first spray it, you can... It's very strong, like the alcohol, but once it settles down after 10, 15 seconds, I'm buying, I am buying this, because this, this little tease, this is a tease. It ain't going to do nothing for me. I need the big daddy bo bottle, okay? I'm going to get on Walmart.com or Amazon or whatever. It's Sunny Honey by Juicy Couture. I'll let y'all know when I get the big bottle. Mmm, I smell good. Have y'all ever smelled that? I've never even heard of it. We're going to let it settle. Because, you know, right out of the gate, things will smell good. But when you put it on your own person, your chemistry is different. So, oh. This is probably the best Walmart beauty box I've ever gotten. And that is not a lie. Okay, what's in here? Repair bond. Leave-in treatment. I guess this is for your hair. Mark Anthony Repair Bond and Resculpt Resculplex. Repair and protect leave-in treatment for all hair types. Reinforces hair from the inside out. Hydrates, defrizzes, and softens. So I guess you just uh, spray it in to repair damage. Leave-in deeply. This leave-in deeply conditions and protects. Hair feels revived, silky, and shiny. Provides heat protection up to 450 degrees. Reduces color fade. Lightly spray onto clean, damp hair. Comb through and stop. Okay. So my hair is healthy for the first time in a hundred years because this is all my own color. You guys know I quit coloring my hair seven. I quit coloring my hair a year ago, and then I um cut it all off seven months ago, and by keeping it short, I've gotten all the color out of it um, over the last seven months. When we cut it off the first time, I got most of the color out then, because I went short, and then I've been keeping it short, so we've just cut it all out, and so all the blonde is gone. This is all my natural color, and let me tell you guys, um, it's so much healthier now that I haven't, because I colored it for 15 years, 20 years. I've colored my hair for 20 years. 21, 22 years, and um, I quit coloring it, and it's super healthy, and I love it, and I love the color. I love the natural color. I love the freedom of not coloring it. I love the freedom of having it short. Um, 
I'm the thought of growing my hair out is like I know I was going to a couple months ago because I wanted to see all the gray and all its glory but I don't even want that now I'm just living free from manicures and hair coloring living free <laughs> that's, that's where I'm at right now in my life but anyway with that being said I will give this a try okay and then here is another funsy a blemish custom patch non-medicated hydrochloric treatment cut to the desired shape protects blemishes from dirt debris and infections blends it with skin for daytime overnight use reduced inflammation and redness gently absorbs impurities what, it, what is that oh what do you do put it over a pimple oh. what why do you want to cover your pimple I'm going to call BS on this. I'm going to call BS. I'm going to call BS on this. I don't need that. Um, Cover Girl sent me some um, samples. I was like, what is the word? Another, another video, another day where I can't find my words. I found it. I found it. The word sample. Um, Cover Girl um, Clean Fresh color correcting serum color correcting serum primer one is for fair one is for light one's for medium and one is for deep skin tones okay so there's some little fun color correcting serum moisturizer primer guess you put it on before your makeup and I would probably go with the fair skin tone or the light skin tone probably light okay what else is that it? That's it. I'm going to say the Walmart beauty box was a win. I love, I absolutely love everything in it. I think this is stupid, but that's just me. But I absolutely love everything in it. Um, Walmart, by sending me this box, caused Juicy Couture to get a purchase because I'm going to be purchasing that. Score with the headband. I will be purchasing a full size bottle of this because I haven't had one in a long time. And I'm going to give this a whirl. We all love Neutrogena. And then this will be fun to play with on my hair. Winning! Go Walmart! Okay, this video is getting long, so we're going to zip through this real quick. But I want to show you guys. So I ordered this four or five months ago. And you had to pre-order it because it wasn't out yet. So I pre-ordered it. And the waiting is over. And I haven't told you guys that I ordered it, but I got it. And it is Miranda Lambert's new cookbook. You know, Miranda Lambert's going to have some Southern recipes from her mama in there. Okay. Miranda Lambert with Holly Gleason. Y'all eat yet? Welcome to the pretty pitch kitchen. <laughs> what? Miranda, La scoot over, Reed Drummond. Look, Miranda Lambert. Pretty bitch in kitchen. Y'all eat yet? Y'all eat yet? Let's do a thumbnail. Okay. Let's back up. All right, maybe we can get something out of that. Okay, I just want to go through this real quick and see what might be in here. So there's recipes that were um, from her mama and her grandma. And, you know, any recipe from your mama is going to be special. I can name 10 off the top of my head from my mama. Um, so let's just kind of uh, look through here. She's got a recipe for deviled eggs. And let's see if she does anything different. She puts a half a cup of green olives in hers. And that's really the only difference. And baking soda. Baking soda and green olives. The rest of it is mayonnaise, mustard, pepper, paprika. Here's Miranda Lambert's deviled eggs. I wonder what the difference the baking soda does to make a difference. Uh, slow cooker bread pudding. I wonder if that's going to be any good. Green bean casserole. She uses cornflakes in hers. Instead of the standard onions, you know, the fried onions. Potato salad. So, they're like they're just like normal southern recipes that we've all made. 
She's got lessons from her daddy in here. Rick's Magic Beans. Okay, I'm going to be trying these with the Italian cut green beans. I tried to make these over Easter, and they turned out okay, but I bet these are better. Bacon, onion, Italian cut green beans, Worcestershire sauce, maple syrup. See, in her little recipes here, she's going to have a little twist of something different. She's got a brisket recipe, papa sauce. Papa sauce, salsa, chicken salad. There's a picture of Miranda. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to, oh, peanut butter pie, rum balls, hummingbird cake. <gasps> we should make a hummingbird cake, you guys. Not pretty. Okay, I'm so pumped about this. Y'all know I like a good cookbook. Scalloped potatoes. They're regular southern recipes, but they're out of her mama's kitchen. Cornbread muffins, cheese ball, singing for my supper and chasing the dream. So she's got stories in here. Campfire casserole. Okay, we're going to have fun with this. Um, Miranda Lambert cookbook. It's Miranda and her people. Uh, so it's got all the stories from when she was a kid and all her family pictures. That's cool. It's going to be cool to learn about her. Um, what she's learned and what all those porch parties taught her. Mama's magic. Lemon meringue. The best lemon meringue pie. All these. It's going to make me cry. All these mama references. Um, best lemon meringue pie ever. Nani's banana pudding. Black eyed peas or red beans. This is going to make me choked up because it's recipes with her family and her mama and her grandma. And um, both my grandmas have passed and both my grandpas have passed and my mom and dad have passed. And um, I think it's special. I think it's so super special. So we're going to be cooking out of this. Um, we'll be trying some recipes um, and we'll see how it goes. I want to make that hummingbird cake. I don't know if I've ever had hummingbird cake, but I've heard about it. So, anywho, I wanted to save that for last. Um, let's see where we're at in our Bible real quick, and we'll wrap this up. So, I just kind of leave my Bible open. Um, and I am at um, Matthew. I was reading out of John, and then I bounced over to Matthew for one reason or another. I can't remember. Um, God's chosen servant. Aware of this, Jesus we withdrew from that place a large crowd followed him and he healed all who were ill he warned them not to tell others about him this was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet isaiah and the prophet isaiah said here is my servant whom i have chosen the one i love and whom i delight i will put my spirit on him and he will proclaim justice to the nations he will not quarrel or cry out there's a lesson there we need to quit our quarreling and our whining. We live in a whiny world right now. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that thought on the table right there. Um, he will not quarrel or cry out, and no one will hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out, till he has brought justice through to victory. In his names the nations will put their hope. And I'm not going to start preaching, but does this not speak to us this day and age? We need to use, the, I mean, we always need to, you know, um, follow Jesus and, and, and be the best example of him that we can be. But it says he will not quarrel or cry out and no one will hear his voice. He's going to be bruised and a smoldering wick, but he won't be snuffed out. Until he has brought justice through to victory. In his names, the nations will put their hope. That's where my hope is. That's where our hope needs to be. And we need to be praying for our country. We need to be praying for our president. We need to be praying for all our leaders, for our, our future president in 2024. You know, there's not a president. I don't like Biden. I'm just going to put it out there. Um, and that's fine if you do. Um, I've got a lot of um, YouTube subscribers and... 
um, they like Biden and I like Trump and we're still good friends and that's okay. But um, we need to be praying for Biden. We need to be praying for our future president. We need to be praying for our country, for our world. We are living in a crazy, crazy, crazy psycho time. Psycho crazy time. Um, on one hand, it's like, what a cool time to be alive to witness all of it. And then on the other hand, I'm like, Jesus, please come back because I just don't know how much more I can handle. <laughs> you know, I just, anyway, that's awesome and how fitting. So um, I think that's all I have. Thank you guys for hanging with me. I've been talking to you for 35 minutes and that is so much. Okay. That's a long time. So I'm going to let you go. I love you. The Lord loves you more. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you all for my friend mails.